Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today I bring you sleeves, over 4,000 sleeves. I'm in front of me right now and I have sleeved some stuff in advance. One of the most watched videos on the channel has been me opening a pack of card sleeves and I didn't even sleeve anything. So I've got various games that I have now sleeved and I look forward to showing them now. There are some sleeves here from Mayday Games and Sleeve Kings. I've also got other sleeves on the way from Dragon Shield and I've taken off some sleeves from Ultra Pro amongst other ones just because for the particular games I have, they weren't fitting very well. So let's start off with a game that I have sleeved. This has only been for what's called the key cards and I've chosen to leave in the actual uh, type of card that I've used kind of sleeve just so I can see what's used next time. So what have I sleeved? Well, this has been, as I said, the main card you use when you want to orientate your card to figure out your clues for code names. Of course, all these videos are on the channel as well, so just search code names and mass games. The reason for sleeving it is to make sure, obviously, you don't get any um, marks and stuff like that, so you won't obviously start to know how you can figure out some answers because you don't necessarily want to be cheating. It won't very improve the game. Now, other games do fit 70 by 70 as well. That's just as an example. Next up, a game from 1985, the game that kind of got me into gaming. I've got multiple editions of this. I wanted to sleeve it before I even play it because I haven't even played my copy yet. Now, this is a mini Euro card sleeve. This, as you can see, it pokes out slightly, but that's only because this particular game is so old and I didn't mind in this instance it poking out slightly. So this is Sleeve Kings as well. But uh, there's also this one, which is thicker, 100 microns. It's a very tight fit, as I generally find with premium sleeves. Obviously, 100 microns is over twice as thick as a standard sleeve. So it's a 44 mil. Now, I do have some cards that have been sleeved at 44 mil, and I'll show you them in a second. So there we go, all sleeved up. Now, I do have that promo in there that I would love to try out. So maybe I'll give you a review on that too. Next up, Dixit. Now, these are these ones over here, 80 by 120. Dixit sleeves, as you might notice, this is not Dixit. This is a game that is a dexterity game. Another reason to sleeve games like that. Now, I did come in a tray. There are two games I'm going to show you. And these trays do look very similar by Peg the Spieler, but they are slightly deeper, one than the other. Being black, this might not come out too well, as you can see. And the trouble is, all these items do get stuck and they make the cardboard kind of wedge a bit off the box. So this has been sleeved. And again, being a dexterity game, I'm a bit worried that, again, you don't want to necessarily know what the card is. And it's a premium thickness. This is 125 mil thicker, sorry, percent thicker. So I think it's 90 mil. Fits nightly, might bow slightly there. But apart from that, I'm generally comfortable with that. So there it is, Cracker Casa, or Who Did It, initially came out by Blue Orange. So the other game, also of that thickness, as I still have 250 of these, is Elements. Again, that insert I've just shown you. Again, uh, it fits better in the box like this. It's very nice and clean and fits in well. I like playing this game too. A game whereby four cards are discarded and you need to kind of figure out what your opponent has, but you shouldn't do that by damaging the cards. A game I've shown you recently, it's also on the channel, is Remix, Marvel Remix. A game that I've actually chosen sleeve with standard sleeves, for what you might call penny sleeves, 40mm thickness from Mayday, and those are these thickness cards here. And again, I'll take one out and then just re-sleeve it. These are premium, that's because of only 18 villain cards. And in my view, I do quite like the way you can pinch cards and they just pop out a bit, is the fact that you've always got to end the game with at least one villain card, at least one hero or ally. Something a different thickness just allows you to be aware of what you should be doing. So here we go, Abomination, it's a villain 13. It can go back in here. This is a game that you're holding cards a lot. Another reason for sleeving cards. Any games that you're holding your cards onto for a while, you can almost feel the oils coming from your skin. As I can feel right now slightly, you should be choosing to sleeve. Now, the trouble with sleeving is sometimes things do not fit back in the box. So there are some games such as Elements, which again, I had to take the insert out, unfortunately. It was slightly too thick. Now, Bucket King was a troubling one, but luckily I've now switched it to being standard thickness and those now fit in fine. Again, this is a game whereby you're holding your cards for a long period of time throughout the game until you are eliminated or ultimately win the game. And for that reason, they're sleeved and they fit back in the box fine. So there we go, that has been sleeved with the Euro sleeves. That's 59 by 92. Those are these ones over here as an example. So those fitted in fine as well. Next up, Dixit. We talked about this a second ago. Great arts work. Um, they all do fit just in this box here, just as you can see, only just in with the, these premium sleeves. So thankfully fit on. But we've also got 10 very expensive promos. Another reason to sleeve cards is uh, one of these is worth more than the entire game, over 30 pounds. And I've got the other promo in there, which of course you wouldn't sleeve because it's not a card. But there we go, that's Dixit. So there we go, another game done.
Next up, Seven Wonders. Again, previously partially sleeved, but now I've used the proper cards. Now these are 65 by 100 is what you're gonna need. And I did actually happen to use Mayday. Now Mayday do 80 pack for the thicker thickness, 90 mil, I think it is 90 microns, or you can do the standard thickness. Now these are ultra fit, and I'll show you what these look like. Now I've got all kinds of stuff. I've got some original stuff. This is the second edition. So these are the penny sleeves, as you might sometimes known as. You can't really get penny sleeves anymore. I know amongst other companies, Mayday do do Black Friday. Slip them in and they're fine, okay? Right to the edge, nice uh, and enjoyable. Quite cathartic, I feel, to just to have something sleeved. Again, I personally find people are more likely to hold and look after their games or their cards better. And I don't have to worry about them warping and bending, which is rare, but it does occur and it does trouble me. Now, I did tell you about these 44 mil sleeve cards before. So that's what these ones look like. I've managed to kind of wedge them all in. I've only started off with 36 initially, and that's the objective cards. So these are really are tightly put in here. Again, 44 mil is a bit narrower than a standard thickness, and they are a bit big, obviously, for these ones. But the, thick, the width is kind of maybe what's more important. So you, you take these out, and again, you'll see partially from the, the way I have to wedge them in. A, a premium one generally is a bit harder to push in. You'll, you'll notice from how fast and how uh, white my thumb kind of goes. So you can see it does take a bit longer to go in. And there you go. And again, it makes sense to make sure nobody can keep an eye on what those are. Now the other games are, like I said, bluffing games, anything whereby typically if a card is not visible in hand, you shouldn't need to. Now some of these cards I won't necessarily need to sleeve because nearly all of them use the entire game and they're always visible. So it shouldn't really matter for most games. But for dexterity and for bluffing games, other games which you're holding on to, such as Meadow, which I'll be re-sleeving again. And I'll be showing you how to set up play and review, hopefully, with those mini European sleeves. Again, there's 220 cards, plus I've got various promos, so you need to get numerous packs. Obviously, in this case, you'll need to have five of those ones. Those are the premium ones, but I also have the base ones too. As I mentioned, though, if they are too slim, slim, I've got those ones as well. And I can always use those for Agisia and stuff like that. So plenty of other games. Arnak is going to go in this. So I've got Arnak to sleeve too. And there's going to be how to set up play and review for Arnak, amongst other things. If you're interested in other stuff, there's also Splendor, and uh, also let me know in the comments and anything else. You may have seen on the channel, I've also got the Tiny Epic stuff, so for the bigger cards, those can go on there as well. So these are obviously very specific, and obviously various thicknesses as well. So we've got the thinner cards for something like Arnak, and the thicker ones. And lastly, let me just show you, I think there's 280 cards needed for Sylvian. So if you want to see more stuff, 188. If you want to see how that fits, maybe if it goes back in the box, then of course make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. But there we go, Rush, there's a huge amount of stuff there. This has been a wide angle video as well. I've also got the weighing scales over here, just to let you know the typical weight. As you know, I do that for all the other games, especially when I cycle. So obviously if you on all those sleeves, that's 61 grams, and there's 13 different types I've got going on here. 87, don't always call out the weight normally. We have got 96. We have got 42, and sometimes these do vary slightly, so that's just the amount of sleeves maybe I've taken out. We've got the 100 pack, which again has been partially used. So we've got 44, 45. So they always make sure there's usually a few spare. I've got maybe six extra. Those are the uh, Seven Wonders cards. Then we've got those ones I'm just gonna call Arnak for the time being. Those mini cards, which are quite easy to unpack. You don't even need to unwrap it here. Undo it there, pull them out, pull them out again, and then you're done. We've got those mini premium ones as well. So there's 28 grams of them. We've got the Sleeve Kings. So those are 60, uh, 74. We've got the other Sleeve Kings, which I've been using, which are 41. And lastly, we've got those Dixit size cards, which uh, the only one I haven't shown you yet is the, the Codenames ones. So that is 83 grams. Hope you found that of interest. Tons of sleeves. Uh, take, I can get through about eight a, um, eight a minute at least. So for now, back to the table. Any other questions? Again, there's occasionally competitions via Linktree and check out the description for that. That's all in YouTube, again, commenting best in YouTube. And you can, of course, follow along on Facebook, over 2,600 posts on Instagram, and now also on TikTok. Well, back to the table.